Very disappointing, very frustrating. Uh, I think the possession and territory at one stage was 80%, over 80%. So uh, it wasn't what we expected, uh, as you can well imagine. And it was uh, quite disappointing uh, you know, for the players coming in at half-time because we never had a foothold in the game. Uh, traditionally, we've almost got better throughout the autumn series and it was a much improved second half because we at least we did have a foothold in terms of possession and territory. Uh, but, uh, you know, the first half, when you give a side that's very cohesive, that's been together for the period of time they have been, uh, you can see, you know, how effective they can be with particularly speed of board in the contact area. Uh, we were un unable to influence that area. And then uh, we weren't able to get a defensive line set. So it made it very, very difficult and... Uh, you know, in fairness to Australia, they, they took every possible advantage that they could and created a number of tries and scored. Oh, I think second half, most definitely. Uh, I think is a, the share of possession is nearly 50-50. I thought we grew into the game second half. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm sure Gethin will, you know, talk about the first half influence, which is very difficult when, you know, it was no foothold in the game and uh, it was frustrating for the players and particularly you know, f for everyone really uh, the supporters I'm sure that uh, it was a difficult 40 minutes and then you influence them because of the scoreboard you start playing rugby probably a little bit too much in, uh, in your own half and trying to force things because you're playing against the scoreboard and that has an influence then in terms of the Australian defensive line pretty aggressive uh, but I, I'm glad that the intent and the ambition we kept playing. Uh, it's good to see the, the new caps coming on and getting their first taste of international rugby. And uh, it, they'll be better for that experience. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to the next couple of games. Probably a bit of both, Simon, I think, in terms of the speed of ball is always, you know, from, from an attack coach perspective, you almost talk about speed of ball from the first contact but I thought we could be defensively uh, you know better particularly structurally in terms of I thought we made a couple of wrong reads uh, we weren't staying square off our line and we weren't coming forward but that was down to the speed of ball on the inside as well as you could appreciate so uh, it's frustrating because uh, you know, our first half was very you know boys were despondent coming in but uh, we said look it's nil nil but to start again and uh, it showed that uh, the more you play at this level, exposed against sides like that, the more you learn, and you know we, we were much better second half. Rob, you've talked about Australia in the past. Do you have a number one after that first half? Yeah? <laughs> no, because I saw enough good and detail. It's it's the first game. It's first up. Uh, I think that the players, in terms of spoken about the speed and the intensity of the game, it wasn't so much of the speed or the intensity which we, traditionally we we uh, sort of struggle with first up it was probably how good the Wallabies were with the ball in hand and how effective they were in the contact area and we, we weren't able to have any influence and at line out you know we planned to have a you know to, to contest I think we got one second half but we weren't able to influence them in those areas and uh, the set piece that we had first half was probably pretty much in our 22 and, uh, you know, the 10-minute period with a yellow card, I thought we defended well. We managed that 10-minute period really well that we didn't concede. Uh, but probably it was sometimes on occasions Australia dropping the ball, uh, which we didn't uh, sort of, uh, we didn't defend that well, you know. Yeah, uh, I think in terms of uh, we f we felt that uh, George's influence uh, on the right winger, the number of times he has touches and playing, he played particularly well on the right wing out in New Zealand. And the left wing, uh, you know, we've had a number of players step up into that left uh, hand, left wing position. And, uh, you know, Alex has been there throughout the week along with Hallam and uh, sort of we felt that it, it was an option which we would try. We haven't tried it before. And even though we started them 11 and 14, we didn't want to give uh, you know anything away in terms of their position, really. Oh, 
Oh, no, I, I think the, the tickets or the supporters that came today was the same that we've had for uh, the majority of the first games in the autumn. Uh, I think we're sell out against Japan, uh, with no disrespect, which uh, I think is fantastic. And the one thing which, uh, you know, our players almost aware of that uh, you know the supports are fully behind us and uh, I think when you look at that first half it was probably Australia having a major influence in the, the landscape of the game and uh, we just couldn't get a foothold which is disappointing but uh, I thought the second half we did improve in some areas. Yeah, obviously he's been assessed medically, uh, he's, he's been caught uh, by a tackle and, and the leg has swung it's obviously his ankle uh, we're just not sure in terms of I don't think there's any breakage uh, but obviously I'm sure from an ankle, ankle ligaments uh, look uh, as if they've been uh, damaged in some way no I just tightened up Simon to be honest uh, You know, in terms of the training through the week uh, you know, there's been a tightness there, and I thought you know it's important that you know to have a look at Hallam coming on on the left with Alex on the right. So uh, you know, looking after George really than a, rather than an injury concern, to be honest. Yeah, look, I think that uh, I think he enjoyed the international game. I thought he'd done well. He had some nice touches. He run with the ball. Uh, you know, obviously he's made that pass out the back, uh, but uh, you know I think it's his first taste of international rugby, and uh, it's 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 great when players come in in form and have that taste, and he'll be better for that experience. And uh, I think that uh, you know it's it's something which we wanted to get uh, Sam on and, and other players off the, on the bench, particularly with the scoreboard, because you know they have points of differences, and Sam certainly has a point of difference. I show, I think he showed aspects of that today when he came on. Yeah, you know, we, there's a lot of effort that goes into the preparation to get out on the, uh today, and there's no one hurting more now than the players and, and the, the coaches. Um, you know, we all give everything during the week, and we hope that when we get out there on the weekend, um, that we're going to turn up and put a good performance in. But obviously, the first half, you know, echoing what Robert said, we we just made a few too many errors, um, mainly defensively. Um, didn't always feel like we were under that much pressure, but we, we sort of um, jammed in and made a few bad reads um, and ended up under the post a couple of times. And when that happens, um, you obviously try and bounce back, but you're trying to play in the wrong areas a little bit then. And, uh, uh, you know, as it, as it led to two tries in the second half, but, you know, you only got to uh, praise the effort that, you know, we did put in to try and come back into that game. You know, Australia, quality team. Uh, we knew that coming into it, that you know it was going to be um, tough if we didn't perform to our highest level, and you know we'll have a look at, especially the first half. Yeah. Yeah, because as much as you're hurting now, what's the reaction you think you get from the boys? Oh, we, like I said, we, we're a proud, proud bunch of boys. We'll, we'll stick tight. Um, we'll stick tight as a team. We'll be honest in the looking at the videos and where we went wrong, and and we've got to learn our lessons. You know. We, we've talked about you know lifting the intensity to, to compete with teams like Australia, and, and I thought we were mentally there uh, and ready. But you know, like I said, key key mistakes and key decisions have, have probably led us to us going uh, behind in that game. Um, we need to look at that and then bounce back. But I'm sure we've you know got some strong characters in that dressing room, and we will. No, Argentina, uh, you know they've you know they're up there with the top teams now. They Obviously, Liam Williams and Jonathan Davis will be available for selection. Well, with John Davis, uh, look, we made a decision that there's a lot of rugby to be played, Nick, in the autumn series, and we could, if if it was a semi-final or final of a competition, we could have possibly played Jonathan. Uh, you know, he's in the week that he's had some tightness and we just took a, a common sense decision a, a best decision for the team really to pull Jonathan which would hopefully make him you know available for uh, next weekend really pardon I think he took a bump didn't he when he uh, uh, obviously nearly scored the try another another strong team but you know we've got to bounce back on uh, this week